Hi there, I'm James West from Sol Digital. Today we're going to see all the functions Sol Digital software offers you to create a photo book. We're going to use the empty template function to build our photo book from scratch and have total control over it. Remember, you can always change the number of pages afterwards. Here's our photo book. The left menu is where you can navigate through your folders. In the top menu, we find all of the tools. The right menu is where we will find different options to change the configuration of your product, see the resources we are using, add some backgrounds, clip art, and layouts. In the bottom menu, we can navigate through our photo book, add or remove pages, and reorganize them. This is the page that we are going to work on. Let's start. This first page is the back cover, the front cover, and the spine. We can add some photos directly from our folder or look for them here and drag them in. As well as photos, we can also add an objects box to create our layout before adding the photos. A fill box to add a box with a texture, gradient, or color. And a text box, which you can completely format with the top menu or on the editor. You can add backgrounds from the background menu. Choose a color, gradient, or a texture that you like. If you want to use a photo as a background, you just need to drag it into the blue frame. Or you can click with the right mouse button. In addition to all of these elements, you can add clip art too. There are several topics to choose from. Remember, this first page is the inside of the front cover. One important thing to bear in mind is the bleed. You will see a warning when we place the margin of a photo over the crop line. We should avoid this position and always place the photo at a sufficient distance from or over it. When placing your photos, there are a wide variety of tools to help you with the distribution. There are also alignment tools that can be based on a double page or just a single page. When you have selected more than one photo, more options appear. You can use a layout too. Choose one of the multiple design line options and the images you want per page. Once you have placed one photo, you can easily swap it by dragging another photo over top of it. If you already have two photos in your book, you can switch them by clicking with the right button of the mouse and choosing Switch or select both images and click over Swap Selected Images. As you've seen, there are more options when you right click with your mouse. Remember, you can activate the auto layout function at any moment to automatically distribute your images. Of course, we have plenty of control over the photo. We can make it bigger, crop it, rotate it, flip it, zoom in or out, and reframe it. Here you can activate or deactivate the image enhancement. If the image has been edited beforehand, or if the image is a collage, disabling image enhancement is recommended. You can also find this option on the top menu. We can also modify opacity, add some shadows, adjust color, use masks, and a frame of any color. If you would like to see a preview of your photo book, just click on the preview button. At any time, you can save your project and continue on with it later. You can also export or save a PDF of your project. Once your photo book is ready, click on the shopping basket to submit your order. Now it's your turn to create your own photo book. Enjoy!